Welcome to York Reacts, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new trailer from Cyan. Now, I don't know if you guys know or remember who Cyan is, but they are the developers behind a really old game called Myst. Now, Myst came out a long time ago for the Mac computer, and I remember playing it for the first time when it, you know, we, we me and my brother went and visited my cousin one time, and we were just on like a family vacation type of thing, and he had Myst installed in his computer. He had just bought it. He said the graphics were like really incredible, and so me and my brother come and we come and look at mist and we're like whoa oh my like at the time mist was one of the most breathtaking games of all time the graphics were absolutely incredible and it was like a point and click adventure game so what you would do is you'd point and click and move in a direction or and that you would move forward through the through the map and you turn to the left and move forward turn to the right and it was a puzzle solving game where you kind of arrive on this island and you try to get yourself off of the island and there's all these really unique puzzles and you meet people through these like videos and stuff it's really cool if you haven't checked it out i'll leave a link into the description you know and so definitely check it out so this developer is making a new game called firmament and this is the official trailer and it's a launch trailer so we'll begin to see all the environments and some really cool stuff so if you're new to my channel i do game development as well i'm an animator for a living and i love to kind of dive into this stuff and do some you know deep dives basically break down these trailers in a unique way that you may have not seen in another you know video or channel so Let's dive in and let's take a look, shall we? In another place, another sense of time, creation wow. in my eyes. Slippers, tethers, fade, tune of frequency and I'll probably get copyright striked for this video, but <clears throat> this is, ooh, look at that. That looks really beautiful. Wow. One thing I always loved about their games is the attention to detail and the architecture. And it's always very unique and creative. Really cool dev team over there. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is cool. Wow. I love how... Hold on, we got... I almost want to pause it, but let's let it play. Ooh, underwater. One day we'll realize that all worlds must collide. Those are interesting transitions. Huh. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you what. They they really hit us powerful with the music and stuff. I'm really I really like that. They they really kind of stepped it up with that. I really love the music. Um, I might have to mute it and we'll see. I, I don't even know how. I'll probably get copyright strike like I said. But either way, I really really loved the kind of showcase of this. It 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 was beautiful. Really well done. Let's dive in and kind of dissect some of this, shall we? The environments are really beautiful. Like all, that's one thing that Cyan has always done really well because it's the most important part of the game. You actually don't see the character that you're playing usually, right? This is first person view and so you could be anybody. You don't really know what you look like, sorta. <laughs> and that's kind of cool because it feels like you. Like when you play their games, it, it's like a personal journey that you go on through these games because if you haven't played Miss, you definitely should because what it is is it's like a self-exploration type of thing, right? You, there's no like um, HUD or UI or stuff to help you or tell you where to go or anything. You figure out everything on your own. And it can be really troublesome for some people, and it can be very unique and an and adventure and a journey for some other people, right? Because you you kind of have to solve things on your own. And that's what this game hopefully is going to be like. These environments are really beautiful. Like, I love this one that we just looked at. This looks so cool. And the reason why I like it so much is because of the color palette and also 
the reflections on the floor of like the the floor just looks really cool. It's got that marble and gold kind of mm, beautiful, and the roof architecture just looks awesome too. Looks like we're in a skeleton of some kind of you know creature or whatever. Look at this, really beautiful stuff. Like I was saying earlier, they the 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 developers they are basically like architects because a lot of the stuff that you see in here is really beautiful architecture and it's very unique and it's inspired by you know some of the best architects in the world so it's really cool to see that in here um i like to see this the the weapon or whatever you have in your hand it's probably not a weapon um that thing that is all weathered and beat up it looks great like the the textures of this thing just look amazing they've done a really good job at it i think See, it's not like a weapon. It looks like this thing that controls the bridge. You know, in this game, you don't usually, like, shoot guns or do anything like that. This is the type of game where you solve puzzles and you <laughs> you navigate this world in a unique way. It, it, it's not for everyone, but it's really fun. If you have the time and you want something unique and different in a gaming experience, I highly, 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 highly suggest playing any one of their games. Mist and Riven and all these games that they have put out... There's a game called Abduction that I uh, backed on Kickstarter. You guys should definitely check out Abduction if you haven't seen it. These guys make beautiful games, and they're very underrated because I feel like everyone goes in and all they do is they play shooters and they just want to go and blah, 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 blah. I mean, I play shooters almost every night, but there's something to be said about going on an adventure and experiencing a game like this. It's very, 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 very different. So I hope that you guys kind of check something like this out is what I'm saying because it's different for a lot of gamers because they're so used to, diff, you know, the run and gun stuff that this is a completely sidestep from what you're used to doing and playing. So I just highly suggest checking it out because nowadays stuff can get, you know, stale in gaming. And this, this is something I guarantee you that will kind of blow you away and make you feel like you've never experienced something like it, you know, pretty cool stuff. Like I said, they're kind of an underrated developer. This is cool here. This like, they always do these surprise things where like stuff comes out of the ground. It rotates in a unique way. Now they're taking us into the water. This is so cool. The bubbles look a little weak, but it's probably really hard to do bubbles in 3D, um, in 3D animation and inside the game engine and all that type of stuff. Oops. Interesting transitions there. I was talking about that earlier. Very interesting, um, the way they tear away f from the, you know, the whole, like, picture and reveal different stuff as the same sculpture. Looks like you're going to be playing this game in different, like, uh, seasons, if that makes sense. Pretty cool. I love it. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it because, like I said, I, I, I want you guys to experience something new in gaming. I want to bring different games to to your eyes and stuff. That's, that's something I want to do on this channel. And... By the way, I, you know, I just hit 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It's, it's, I've been wanting to hit 1,000 for so long, and it's been a long journey. I, I, <laughs> it's funny because YouTube is a lot harder than I thought, and I appreciate every single viewer and commenter and person that kind of comes and stops by and checks out these videos because I'm really passionate about this stuff, and I would love to, like, make money on it and eventually, like, make this as, like, a big time side hobby and put more energy into this, right? The more viewers I get, the more money I can kind of make off of the, the uh, views and all that stuff, I can dump into this channel because I can like pour a bunch of energy into it, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little content. If you want to play some games with me, I have a second channel. It's called Resurrect. I play Apex Legends lately. Uh, almost every night I stream from 9 to 11. Come join the squad. Have some fun. We always have fun. So I'd love to see you there and I'll catch you guys in the next one.